Hello, Aquarius. <clears throat> How are my Aquarians out there? I am Tina. Welcome to my channel. This is a general reading for Aquarius. Yep, I'll make sure. Better make sure. Um, it will not resonate with everybody. Um, to try not to make it fit. If the information resonates with you, please drop down and hit that subscribe button, like it, share it, uh, tell your friends about it. And if it does not resonate with you, let it go and come back next week. I update weekly. I believe starting next week, I do Where's the Beef uh, updates. And beef is my acronym for business, education, employment, and finance. All right. Aquarius. I am, you know what, I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. Sometimes you just, you've got to get a feel for the cards and what they need. Um, a good tarot reader feels your cards. Um, and I am just about ready cards are just about ready um all right one more time there we go i wanted that something to start it with there's somebody in there that's bass backwards now okay there she is she's out now all right another jumper and i do play the jumpers those are ones that try to find their way out of the deck they have something to say and they want to be heard so they really just bail the hell out of that deck and say look at me look at me all right, I've got the Queen of Wands, I've got the Page of Swords, the Emperor, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wowie, wow, wow. All right, Aquarius. Now I will deal the rest. All right. Slide back in the chair. I'm having a little difficulty maintaining my seat in the chair today. There is an entire dog. I don't think you can see her on camera behind me. Um, and she's all snuggled in because it's actually cold here in western Pennsylvania today. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, we've got that Queen of Wands that popped up for you. Um, Page of Swords. Aquarius, you may have been dealing with somebody younger than you. Um, in this particular issue. It doesn't seem to be a real big, big issue for a little bit, and then it's like all hell lets loose. Like everything goes good, everything goes smooth, everything's fine, um, everything, the home front's all secure, and then Bam, it is as though this person has a little bit of an emotional imbalance. Um, we have the emperor. The emperor is somebody that kind of, he is solid in his uh, confidence in who he is. And then bam, all of a sudden we get the five of swords in reverse even. You know, Aquarius, I feel like this person um, that you had been dealing with may even have left you for someone younger. If they themselves are not younger, they left you for somebody younger. Um, we have the Page of Wands also. You know, there's probably not been a lot of communication between the two of you. Um... Maybe some texting, but it hasn't been good communication and it hasn't been accurate. It has been gut responses to, all right, you pissed me off and now I'm just firing something back at you. And that is not the way to handle this. Don't, um, don't let these circumstances rattle you. Okay, here's that page of swords that we were talking about. Um, again, somebody that could be younger, you know, the pages are usually the person that kind of pops in and says there's going to be a plot twist going on here. Um, and there's that queen of wands. 
you know, that's normally where you're at. You normally have your, your, your shit pulled together and you're kind of stable and confident. And the queen of wands will take that, that wand and club your ass with it. It's straighten up. Don't do that. Fly right. And that's what the queen of wands energy is. And that's who you are. Um, Aquarians, you have been kind of putting your shoulder to the, to the wheel and nose of the grindstone and um, trying to keep yourself occupied with your own, your own growth and your own healing. You've been dedicating yourself to growing financially. It's been a little unstable for you and, and a lot of us. So you've made the, the kind of the mental choice to just go ahead and, and push forward with that and not allow yourself to wallow in the drama. You've dealt with some anxiety with this person. They really trigger. They have a, they have a, a way to push your hot button. Um, this person does not care for you near as much as you think they do. They are kind of clinging to somebody because you're a life preserver for them. And that's kind of what that's all about. You've kind of been bailing this person out a little bit financially, helping them here and there. It also comes up here with the four of pentacles. Um, you needing to go, okay, I need to take care of myself now. I need to, um, play my cards a little closer to the, uh, to the, my chest here so that people don't see what's going on. And you're really, really thinking about your own future. Really, really thinking about what you have invested in this relationship. Um, we do have, however, the Ten of Cups. Um, that is like saying, you know, that you came in to smell, it fell in a bucket of shit, now you're coming out smelling like a rose, okay? Um, this relationship could have really ruffled your feathers, and it, you haven't let it do that. Um, you've kind of naturally gravitated away from this person. And you both have grown away from each other. Throw a couple clarifiers in here. Okay, that's kind of what I thought was happening. Yep, it's going to take a tower mom moment to kind of finish this up for you, but it is going to help finish up that cycle. That's what that 10 is all about. The 10 is, you know, it, it's the ultimate goal. It's the rainbow. It's the, it's the uh, celebration. But it is the end of a cycle. It is, you know, something new is going to have to come from that, and that's where the tower moment comes in. Um, I feel like the two of you, since you have not been communicating very well, are going to um, kind of take back up communications. That might be where this tower moment comes in. We all know how text messages work out. You know, um, nobody understands what we're trying to say. They don't under get the tone of voice that we're trying to say it in when we're texting somebody. Um, so I think it's going to come around in with that tower moment we also have the seven of uh excuse me seven of swords here we go yeah you know what you're you're, you're just kind of rounding up what you can salvage and leave it. um and it's really no no big deal um i kind of get that feeling that you know you're, you're kind of got a little smirk on your face as you walk away because you did not let this situation defeat you. You did not let this person's negativity defeat you. You did rise above it. Um, and the final card that came up for you, Aquarius, is... I had to make sure it was Aquarius. It's still, oh my gosh. And I've been doing this reading for 10 minutes now. Um, it's the Temperance card. Be patient. Um, this cycle is changing for you. And this was a big cycle for you. Um, you've reached a lot of maturity yourself. Um, there's been a lot of healing that has taken place. And you can see that this is actually the um, Archangel Michael. 
and you can see he's going to bring abundance to something somewhere. There is so much abundance that he can literally pour it from one cup to the next. Okay. All right, Aquarius, that is the general reading for you. Um, I hope some of that resonated with you. If it did not, please stop back as I update frequently. And I never leave you guys that I don't wish you love and light. Until next time, see you soon.